Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more NTW3 feud today and we have an awesome 4v4 battle feud today. Russia versus France, Napoleon versus Alexander the First, the Tsar of Russia I guess you could say. And yeah we have a bit of a standoff starting off already over here, you can see the huge uh, French army, a lot of cavalry, a lot of artillery and infantry already setting up on this uh, bit of a slope here against, uh, well it's going to be uh, one of the uh, Thomasov, uh, or Thomasov, a cause here. This is a core game instead of like a just a custom armies. So there is a I think there's two Tormasov armies. I think we've got one here and then there's another one uh, I think to the right of this one actually. Um, yeah over here I think there's like oh no is this oh no that's a uh, Tuchikov or something like that. So maybe we only have one Tormasov. I may have been uh, wrong. We have a Dutarov here. I'm definitely pre pronouncing these wrong and then we have a Bagri Bagri Bagrigation there. Jeez I'm struggling to say words it would seem. Um, and they're facing off against uh, four French corps, and they have a. Uh, well, this is. They're just all down as a grand army, but I'm pretty sure we have uh, Davour here in the center. We have Oudinot, I think, also in the center. Um, yeah, there he is. I think we have um, Victor Perrin over on that uh, like left hand side for the, uh, for the Russians and right for the French. And then I think over on this side, or maybe the Vaux isn't was on the left, I can't actually remember. You know what, they're all starting to move around far too much for my liking. But we also have Murray, there we go, Murray's also over there on that far side. So the armies are kind of all a bit interchangeable. It's going to be a bit harder to tell whose army is who for the French, because they all just say Grand Army by like the generals. So you presume that what's around the generals is probably their, their troops. You can see the Russians making a really like big push here with lots of columns, long columns of uh, Russian infantry going up here. Lots of musketeers. Look at that line after line of musketeers. Glorious to see as always. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel at the moment, I'd love to see some more glorious battles like this one. Then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And uh, a building has been captured by the Allies. All the way over here. So Bagregation has, has, taken, uh, has taken that building. And then the uh, French have taken this building all the way over here. Okay. So they're both taking one on opposite sides of the battlefield. Uh, I mean, they'd, I don't know if the French are going to be able to hold this one because there's a, literally a cannon setting up right on this hill. Got a, uh, a six pounder on that. It's got a very nice angle that it could fire straight into that building there if it wanted to. And just clear that unit out. Uh, they've just taken that building there, have the Russians. Um, so it looks like they're taking uh, buildings across the entire map. Just going for that point. Uh, like advantage if possible. So yeah, in NTW3, as you can see on the uh, map, these yellow buildings here, if I just uh, enlarge it, you can see have these point systems here, like so one, lot, all of these are one point. But you can you can win the battles uh, in some instances from winning it just by having holding more points. So that is why uh, both sides are taking as many buildings as possible, it would seem. Also, another little bit of an interest, that there are some cavalry units way at the back here for the Russians. Uh, Aggregation has left like two of these... Uh, like Cossacks or units uh, at the back, and there's another one here, yeah. So these are right at the back, and they may be causing a bit of, uh, they may cause a bit of problems for the French. Like, there's a general all the way back here. Moraes has got a general here chilling here. Definitely could be taken out. There's another one over here. There's Victor Perrin's all the way just over here, chilling on his own. Could just get taken out by the uh, Russian cavalry. They're probably very close to their cause at the moment. Uh, maybe not so much Moray, but uh, I think Perrin must be, because his corps must be right in front of him here. Um, you'd imagine. But yeah, so they could get taken out, so we'll keep an eye on that if po uh, like as much as possible. Over here looks like cavalry is being shot at already, or artillery or something. Bit of skirmishing going on, not quite sure by what. I can hear some shots. Is it shots in this building here? I think it is. Yeah, it's the French. I forget the French are in this building. Um, but yeah, the French are actually shooting the Russians as they march by here, I think. This is uh, some uh, line infantry here, just getting a shot at. I'd just be putting holes into this building so you can scare the French out of it. Or just storm it. Uh, they got some grenadiers here. I think they might be getting sent up to uh, go and storm the building. Grenadiers are very, very good at storming buildings. And uh, good because they're good at melee. Basically, simple as. Um, over on this side, what's getting shot at here? There's just seeing, oh, there's just some cavalry by the looks of it. It's just some cavalry just got, got shot there. Nothing major, it seems. I'm just keeping an eye on like what's flashing at the moment. Because it could happen anywhere. Could like the start of this battle could start anywhere. I love the artillery crews here. Look at them. They look glorious. Let's have a volley, men. Glorious, glorious. 
But yes, if you're uh, wanting to send in your own NTW3 replays to myself, best way to send them to me is to uh, join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. Best way to send them uh, to me is there. Because um, that's kind of where I've compiled all my replays for all my various Total Wars that people send in. Um, so yeah, also if you'd like to join the Discord to get involved in some more Total War battles, then uh, with myself or with other people uh, in the Papal Legion, then do join the uh, links, like I said, down below. And as you can see, they're really pushing up on the R Russians. It looks like it won't be long to this building's going to get stormed. Don't know if the French are going to go up and support. They've got some uh, line infantry here. Pretty close. I don't know if these guys are actually going to... Yeah, they don't look like they're going to get any closer. Might be about a volley. Might be able to get volume. Need to be careful if they're going to fire with this unit because it's just it's right in front. There you go. They're going to get out of the way. I think they realise the uh, yeah the French. Yeah, there we go. The French are going to start volleys. There we go. First volleys down this hill onto the Russians. There. That is going to be a very nasty uphill attack for the Russians. There we go. The first line battle has begun, and it is going to be the uh, the French firing the first shots of the day. This line infantry looks awesome. Really does. I love the later period, like French stuff. Like revolutionary stuff looks cool. But when they have their proper, like I said, proper shakos, I think in one of the last battles, they look awesome. Not another volley though. They're not going to fire another volley. Apparently not. Apparently it's just a what? Just keep them at bay volley. I don't know. Uh, Russians? Oh no, it's not the Russians. This is the French. They're getting really wide here. They might want to be a little bit careful that they're not getting uh, too like disconnected from their main army because I mean that could be a dangerous thing. Oh, here we go. The French and the Russians are fighting it out in here. So the French have got their grenadiers in there. They also have grenadiers in there. Okay. And we have some line infantry that got stormed in. And there you, you can see the grenadiers in there. They don't care. They're just going to carry on shooting out the windows. They don't care if they're being stormed. Look at the bodies. Like, so many men just get gunned down as they come through, like, this entrance. And the French are setting up more uh, line infantry. And uh, Devoe's going to get very, very close. That's interesting. I'd have this gun firing down all this infantry. It's just stood here. It's just going to stand there. Um, I mean, shooting maybe cavalry back here is not a bad idea, um, or maybe the guns. I don't think shooting the guns is really a great payoff. You better just take them out with the uh, cavalry. But uh, yeah, that that's looking like, yeah, the Russians are going to break there. Look at that. They're broken. Gone. And what they're sending in next looks like it's going to be the Grenadiers. I think they should have sent these guys in first. Uh, how many Frenchmen did they lose? Not many at all. I think they should send this unit in. Or just fire on it. I, like I said, they've got a really good artillery position. Or they did. Yeah, they still do up here. It's on three position. Really nice on this building. And they, I don't know what they're firing at. Firing at something. Uh, I think they're firing at the other artillery piece on that hill. Yeah, they're really focusing it down on the, on the Russians. Yeah, here we go. The Russians are now in here. Look at that morale drop. They've lost so many men already as well. Storming this building. It's a pretty hard one to take by the looks of it. You can see the Russians just fighting out in there. <laughs> this guy, look at this guy. He's just like, don't mind me. I'm just going to guard it. And then the French are just here just shooting his comrades. And he's like, oh, I better get back in the fight. And I think the Russians will be broken just like that. That's a big loss. That's a Russian unit. That's a Russian grenade. You lost 74 men. That's broken routing. Yeah, and they're going to send in another one. Another line infantry going in. This could cost them a lot of troops here. Um, could this Russian... Like, Tomasov could lose a lot of men here. Just, uh... In fact, we've got a general under attack. General under fire. Um, okay, there's a Dutorov here. Getting shot at. So, uh, need to be careful with that. Russians are very far up here. This is a concern for the French. I mean, they don't want to have two units stacking like this. Um, they want to have one of these out front and then ha really have the next one uh, flanking wide. What's it fighting? They're fighting some uh, Swiss Volta gears, I see, with, uh, with the Russians. So I presume this is Ordinal here with these uh, Swiss, Swiss units. Um, oh, he's got Croatians here as well. Oh, we got a... Uh, what are we having behind here? Is this one of the... This was one of the... Uh, the uh, Cossack... You know, it wasn't, wasn't one of the Cossack units. The Cossack units are still alive. Um, it's just a cavalry unit that somehow got in behind the enemy lines. And it's doing all sorts of damage. The yeah, Cossack units are still alive. But yeah, that French unit... Um, sorry, that Russian unit got in behind and just got taken out by all this cavalry. I don't know if that was really a great payoff. don't know what it was going for. There's so much French cavalry around here. Um, but yeah, I was, what was going to look at? I was going to look at the Croatian unit. They've disappeared. God damn it. We'll return to that, but yeah, we've got a huge, huge front line here going on. A lot of uh, line action going on here. Let's watch the French. What have we got here? We've got some uh, guard of the, uh, some like he Hessian troops. Okay. They're cool. I'd like to see them. Who's this? Uh, this is uh, Victor Perrin, Perrin's uh, army. He's got lots of uh, like 
Guard, Apid, uh, Hess, so like Hessian troops. Are these guard units? We've got Berg here as well. Hessenberg. Uh, yeah, lots of Germans, I'd say. And they are forcing the Russians back. The Germans have done their job. They have, uh, they're going to take, they could move up and take the slope if they wanted to. Um, the Russians are being forced back down. This is a much larger Russian force, I'd, I'd say, than this um, French force. But maybe the French are just more elite. Quite possibly is the case. Often was the case in these uh, sort of engagements. I don't know why the Russians haven't really just overwhelmed this front line here. This is just fall to gears here. Don't know where the uh, line infantry is supported. They have guns very close. You saw explosions going off there. Um, there's a howitzer, I think it is. It's a howitzer just shooting at stuff. This is a six pounder here that could do with uh, getting mobilized. Got a, another rare. Uh, this is another six pounder here that's just firing off. This is a horse artillery. <laughs> I don't know, it must be horse artillery because of the uh, because of the look of it. Yeah, it, also the amount of horses. Firing into the flank of the uh, troops there, I imagine. And there we go, it's intensified over here. Now he's found the line infantry. It's just a lot of French line infantry setting up here behind this line. See them off in the distance. Hiding behind those uh, little trunks. That looks really cool, actually. Might get a little bit of cover from that, holding that uh, little tree line. That is very nice little play there by the French. And they're, uh, they're holding up. Actually, to be fair, there's actually a lot of French line to the trees. Fighting off in this forest is going to be nasty. It's a nice long line, that is. Oh, get the, uh, get the other side of this goddamn uh, forest. Russians over here doing their bit. Got some more. I think it's all just line infantry. Line infantry of Moscow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And what what's going on everywhere else then? I mean, it looks like uh, what's broken here. I don't know if this was. Uh, oh, is this just all the line infantry and grenadiers that broke from that house? Okay. Well, the French are getting pushed back here, um, but the Russians are very much extending their line. I don't know if there's a lot of gaps in this line at the moment. Um, this is not a good sign. I mean, look at this. Unit's breaking. Like, their morale is just not great as a Russian morale. Oh, big fight going on over here. There's a big melee fight as well. Cavalry in here. Um, getting charged down. And by this is Grenadiers here. I don't know if they charge Grenadiers. The Grenadier, Grenadiers charge them. I will carry on the charge into these uh, line infantry. Because they're retreating. Here they come. Here they come. In come the Russians doing their bit and I mean yeah these Russian grenadiers they might do a lot of damage here oh my gosh I mean there's the breaking of all these grenadiers what's this this is uh grenadiers I think this is all grenadiers in here and the French are holding the French are indeed holding I love the grenadier like uniforms but like the weird uh some of them have like these weird hats on they're really cool and a huge line battle is starting to unfold on this flank as well. It's all going off on basically every front at this moment. The French are giving a little bit of ground. This is uh, some light infantry. These guys can form like line, which is really cool. Well, these are light infantry. They're not really skirmishes, I forget. My line infantry skirmish is a different sort of thing. Can't even see through the smoke. Looking awesome as ever. I mean, yeah, it looks like the Russians, are, they're, they're kind of struggling here. I mean, these guys have the range, um, and I think they have the quality as well. The Russians are making a big push on this flank here. They, those Grenadiers did a good job. I mean, they have broken that French unit, but what cost? And it's a lot of Grenadiers is the actual cost. There's plenty of cavalry here ready to mop up any uh, any Russians to get through. A bit of a cavalry fight going on over here as well. We've got some Dragoons facing off against some Karassias. Uh, they could do something in these Russians. I mean, this is an isolated French unit. You can take this out with all your Russian cavalry here. It's actually, there's been a lot of cavalry been going... Wow, a lot of cavalry fighting been going on here. We've got line infantry in here. I don't know where the Cossacks are gone. Um, exactly, we still have one here. Um, that is... Uh, that is um, kind of the only thing that we have to uh, worry about. Got more uh, cavalry here setting up. They need to send this cavalry probably wide and go and support. They can do a big flank kick of the Russians um, if they play this right. I mean, 
Uh, you can see all the French cavalry. And, oh, this is French and this is a general here. They need to be careful. This is a Russian general. Very close. Tuchkov uh, here, sorry. Uh, very close to the front lines. I mean, yeah, there's uh, chasseurs that could just take them out. And uh, they're getting chased down. But, I mean, this line for June just one volley into there. That's devastating for the uh, Russian general, I think. And this uh, Tuchkov uh, core is uh, certainly struggling. So they're seeing a lot of uh, struggling going on. I mean, this line of, is this grenadiers in here? Yeah, these are all grenadiers, lifeguard grenadiers. And then we go in goes the cavalry. They, I mean, that Russian cavalry there just got absolutely decimated by the cav uh, by the infantry. This infantry here has been very nasty at taking out stuff. It's pretty been pretty impressive. Uh, let's go and see what's going on elsewhere while well, that's uh, been going on over on this flank. Looks like the uh, Russians still pushing. Back the French at the moment, I'd say. Um, kind of a kind of it's kind of died down a little bit on this flank. Yeah, you can see. Oh, there's a cavalry fight all the way over here, though. Massive cavalry fight. Wow, look at the size of this cavalry fight. There's got to be at least half a dozen cavalry units for each side in here. We've got all sorts of cavalry in here. Dragoons, Crassiers, all sorts. Chasseurs in there, I can see. A general has been killed. Uh, that is Sutrov, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it would be. That general was so close to the front lines, just asking to be killed. Um, so yeah, that, that's happened. The French are definitely losing this cavalry fight. Look at this. Absolutely overwhelmed. And the most of this cavalry is near the red line, so it could run off the uh, battlefield. Got more Crassiers, like Westphalian Crassiers coming up over here. Um, they're definitely not going to get into the fight now, it would seem. Let's have a look at these Crassiers. Are they different? Yeah, they look a little bit different because they're Westphalian. They've got, like, purple on them. They've got pink on them, sorry. Um, they're kind of cool. They're going to have to keep the rest of this cavalry uh, pretty safe to defend their flank. They're going to have to play defensive now. That's a lot of the French cavalry gone, I think, for this whole flank. I'm not really sure. But it seemed to all be blobbed up behind here and all them moved to that far flank. And it's lost. The Russians just overwhelmed it. Um, there is some more cavalry here. Some more carabineers here. These guys are nasty. These are, like, probably the best cavalry available to the French, I'd say. They are really, really good. Gold plate, uh, like, cuirassiers. Uh, cuirass, sorry. Look awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, and there you go. The French have pushed back the Russians in the center here. This uh, like light unit, light infantry unit here being forced back. But the Russians setting up more light infantry. They're going to try and counter that. These uh, units are going to probably have to be forced back. It's only like two or three French units up against basically the entire Russian army, it looks like. But some Swiss dragoons are coming across as well. They may get involved in a charge. Who knows? They need to be careful. Stakes, though. They're going to do anything like that. What is going on there? That is a terrible decision. Uh, this French unit here is firing into the flank. I think of this unit over here. But it could definitely hit its own unit here. This is going to be a friendly fire problem. For sure. And it's also just going to get shot on the flank. It needs to turn and face uh, the more immediate threat. Which is the units right in front of it. Um, and then if we look on this side. Yeah, you can see. Look at the Russians. In full retreat. I think the French have won this flank really. Apart from some cavalry. Which there is actually a lot of good cavalry here. Um, I mean, which they could deal with themselves because there's Lance, uh, Polish Lancers, they've got um, like Chevalegas uh, and more Hussars. They could definitely deal with um, this cavalry, probably. Um, and they can make a push, really, can the French all the way up to this hill. There's only a few units of Russians left. Tomasov is having to uh, retreat some of his uh, troops. I think he was involved in that assault as well. Maybe. It seems like it's a, lot, a lot of it was Tuchikov. Uh, Tomasov, yeah, has, Tomasov has most of his troops all the way over here. Yeah, big old fight going on there. And it looks like the uh, the big line battle is re-engaged over here. Look at this. This is, I mean, the Russians got to win this one. They've won the cavalry fight. But they have to win the infantry fight as well, for sure. For sure. Um, because they've lost the right, I would say. They've lost the right. They need to win this left. They need to possibly stretch out a few units. The French will push these ones up. Because the French are uh, stretching this line out. This is like all the Hessian units, or like the German units, and that like, the French have hi not hired, but conscripted, I guess, would be the better way of putting it. You see the officer just firing off his pistol, it's awesome. Gotta be careful as Victor Perrin, he could get shot accidentally and that could cause a lot of issues as well. 
Lot, a few French units started, not French units, um, a few Russian units started to break. A cavalry charge could be useful. The French have done a cavalry charge here. The Crassies is West Westphalians. They broke. I had 56 men. I mean, they. I think they were charging into these units. What was this? It's just flying infantry. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't break it. But I guess that's kind of what the Russians do well. They kind of do uh, melee battles quite well. Got a lot of Swiss infantry in here. This is Udenor's Corps. Udenor's Corps. Like, this is not good here. Like, there's definitely friendly fire surely going on here in this. And we've got a uh, French cavalry in behind. Don't know what that's going after. Yeah, like, these units are not lined up well. Like, this one could definitely be firing into... Like, this unit could be firing into that unit. And this unit's certainly firing into that unit. And, I mean, they're just going to get absolutely, like, destroyed from the units on their, like, here. This unit here could just fire into the flanks here. It's not a well-organized line. Put it like that. Just... I'll put it like that. The French don't care. They'll carry on fighting for the Emperor. Vive le Emperor. What have we got here? The Russians setting up on the hill. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a last stand. Well, I say that. There's a fair few units. Bringing some more grenadiers across. Abraham Reichel. They're cool. A lot of infantry here. Getting set up. March to the sound of the drums. All loyal to the Tsar. Need to get every unit back. Like units like this, you cannot be sending this just to go and die. You need this unit back. Get it to sort of rally. Might be able to rally that unit. Maybe able to get it to some sort of uh, decent morale. Put it back in this line here. Defend this gun. Need every unit available. Gun crew's kind of been knocked up a bit. The French are actually retreating. Interesting decision. Um, not quite sure why. Oh, the French go over a big carry push down here. Lancers going through this village. There's not really much here. They could go for this gun. Um, it's, a, it's a six pounder here. I mean, it's got goons defending it. So I think they are ready for any Lancers here. Uh, actually, they might... Oh, they could go for either gun, really. They're going to have to make a dash past all this infantry. It's probably going to set up. Yeah, and it's probably going to do some nasty fire onto those little Lancers. But there you go. Um, so we'll go back to the other side. Looks like the Russians are winning this flank over here. Yeah, the French are in full retreat. And, uh, well, the French are now, yeah, in a big old melee battle here. It's the Swiss being involved. Uh, and if I've learned anything from watching any of these uh, battles, the Swiss don't like a fight. The Swiss won't want to stand this. They don't like a scrap like the Russians do. Some, like uh, Pamplona, that's like uh, Spanish. There's some Spanish troops here. I did think they had very different helmet or like hats on. Like, what is going on here? But they are rallying. There you go. They have rallied, and yeah, the French have just caused absolute have had absolute havoc go on here. And uh, I mean, they're setting up more infantry. I don't know if we can Voltigeurs, got line infantry here, more uh, like Swiss stuff. They just need to form a, a front line and get a firing line going. But they're just like blobbing up here. More infantry coming across. Um, they need to form some sort of line. But they're just getting constantly charged by the Russians. This is hectic as hell. The Russians are just on an absolute rampage. And routing so many French units. And this is a huge win for the Russians. I wonder if this is why the uh, uh, the French on the left have decided to stop their assault because I wonder if they're going to set up uh, or send more troops this way. Possibly. Somehow the Russians are in behind the French here as well with all this cavalry. The men of the I guess it's all the cavalry that's come across from the left flank here, possibly. But they're going to go after the French cavalry that's just set up in here. Lancers. Polish Lancers in there. Oh my gosh, so loud. Uh, these dragoons, yeah, going to go after the carabineers. This is a, the most elite cavalry in the game. Well, not in the game, but it's like for the French, certainly. Probably is one of the most elite in the game. Looks awesome. And they won that fight quite easily to the French. As carabineers also with no men. So maybe they are the most elite cavalry in the game. Um, we've got generals all the way over here. Just chilling. Might want to snipe them out with those Cossacks. I don't know where they went. Uh, I... 
generally don't know. It must have got involved at some point. The Russians are having a lot of their cavalry routed after that big cavalry win earlier. This is uh, a big loss here. Those caravaneers just clearing up house with these uh, Polish lancers. Russians in a bit of a pickle. Russians are in a little bit of a pickle. I mean, there's got to be more of a French army over here somewhere. I think it must be. Oh, it's there. It is literally here. Surely this is not it. Maybe. Building being captured by the French or no by the Russians? Okay, they've taken this building. Yeah, the French are in full retreat here. I do not know what happened. Just got overwhelmed. Gonna have a gun go off, I think, in a moment. No, they're gonna try and limber this gun. They're gonna try and get this gun out of here. I I respect that from the French. They're gonna they believe that they have a chance to get this gun out of here. Absolutely no way. This is this uh this is eight pounder getting out of here. So many Russians around it. But we've got all sorts. Udinov's broken. Didn't even realize. He's still alive, but he's uh, broken. Yeah, and the French, French have fully gone there. I think it's just down to uh, this army over here, which I think I, I think is Devore's army. This is. Can't be hundred percent sure, but he's very little left. Um, we have killed their there you go. I think that might be Udinov gone. Break. Yeah, Udinov just been murdered in the middle of there along with that gun that is a real shame that's one marshal down one Russian general down as well got another one here they might want to try and get this one out of it they've got a chance getting this one out but no they're going to it's a howitzer this is the howitzer that's been causing so many issues for the Russians I'm going to fire another shot firing at the building don't know if that was a really good idea might want to shoot this uh, cavalry unit possibly Our men are running, or something like that but Really, I'd be trying to get this howitzer out of there. Might try and get that. That'd be a good asset to to vote to have for the final stand. For it looks like it for the Russian, uh, for the French. Sorry. Yeah, here he is, Devoy. He's not got many, not got many men left in his uh, officer unit. Oh no, they're just all scattered. Oh, fair enough. And the French, yeah, making a bit of a retreat. I don't know really. The French might have actually quite a lot left. It's just that they keep getting hidden because it's not the uh, it's the opponent opposing side. So I have no real idea how many of them are left. Um, I am going to just fast forward, I think, for the sake of the replay a little bit. Because, um, well, we're just kind of waiting on the French to re uh, like make, realign, make a new line of defense somewhere. Um, I mean, the only bit of action is going to be this murder of this uh, artillery crew here. Which is obviously very nice to watch. Here's some of those Cossacks. I think this might be the uh, one of the units that was in the back lines. I could be wrong. Might not have been. But, I mean, they want us enough for the cavalry all the way up here going to kill these uh, marshals, probably. Kill these generals. Oh, there's a lot of infantry here. I did think there must be infantry left. I did wonder what happened to the Germans. They just retreated. They didn't uh, die. So, there's quite a few French left. I mean, they still got some hope. These Germans have won a couple of battles. They're going to have to face off Bagregation again. Which I'm sure someone will say I'm pronouncing wrong, which is fine. Uh, it's just the except It just happens. Um, fortunately, I'd, I'm not all-knowing in every single pronunciation. Got cuirassiers from Novgorod here. They look awesome. There we go. Fast forward a little bit. Looks like uh, looks like everything's starting to get back into position. We've got um, the French are like going to defend. Well, oh, here we go. The French are already engaged. The French are defending this hill. against uh, a fairly de assorted uh, Russian army. This is a bit of Thomas but it's uh, um, the other army as well. His name is escaping me. He's another one getting to T. Kuchikov or something like that. He's really, I think he was what he's called. Uh, R Russians and the French there doing their bit. So I am going in behind. Oh, that's just okay. That's I thought that was. Oh no, there is actually there is French cavalry chasing this uh, Russian cavalry. Okay, I get the French cavalry to turn around. Oh, that Lancer unit just got focused on by artillery. Might get another one here. No, nope, broke instantly. That's very useful. That's what you use artillery for breaking units. Maybe not like incoming cavalry like that, but that's how you break. That's how you're gonna um, use your cavalry, uh, your artillery well. Sorry, just by shooting. Um, Shooting that unit to break him around. I mean, luckily in that case, they did actually get a, lot, a fair few kills. 
Carabin is here would not be a bad target either. This is a very expensive carry unit. Definitely want to be shooting this. I think they are shooting around. You can see artillery going off. And um, this carabineer needs to be careful. You need to keep that alive. They want to keep the French cause going. But it looks like uh, Bagregation and Dutrov here are coming across this uh, river very, very slowly. They are making their way here. And it looks like the French have got some sort of uh, setup ready to, to face them. Not many line infantry units, though. Don't know why this one's mixed in with the uh, artillery, but it is. We just ignore it. We've got some sappers here as well. It looks like uh, DeVoe is ready to make his, uh, his final stand. Falling back already, the French giving more ground. I would just hold the top at like, the pinnacle of this uh, hill, which kind of is pro probably actually where they are. Maybe w here, where the, that dead horse is. Hold that line where they kind of just were previously. The best place to hold. More infantry coming up, more line infantry. This is good. Get this in the front line. I mean, the, these seven units could take on those seven units of uh, the Russians quite easily, I think. And they got some cavalry. They've got carabineers to face up against the... Uh, this uh, unit here, this Lancer unit. It's not actually not Lancer, it's a Hussar unit. Could definitely deal with them. Easy. Easy victory for the uh, for the for the French. What's over here? Got a tiny. Oh, this is Tormasov. Just chilling with a tiny little unit there. I don't know if he's just going to capture that building in the corner. I don't know. Do not know. Um, smart thing would be to get my unit. I'd be getting the units, and I'd be going up this side. So you can kind of get onto the hill without having to be, do a full-on head, head on assault. The best way up. I mean, these units are actually getting pounded by uh, by artillery. That's a real concern. Looks like they're... What are these guys firing at? This is line infantry. What the heck are they firing at? There's not any, any Russian infantry anywhere close. Maybe they're just shooting the French retreating troops, possibly. Um, I don't blame them. Do not blame them, but I can't see a single Russian unit here that's even close enough to being shot at. That's a weird one. French are still over here. They actually have a lot... Whoa! They have a lot of cavalry. The French actually are not out of this. They are not out of this. This is a lot of cavalry. This, this could change the game. I mean, the Russians have a lot of cavalry. Equally. Hmm... It's going to be close. I thought the French were out, but I mean, the French are still very much in this. French are very much still in this. Um, who are these guys? Oh, they're firing at Russian infantry that just came up the hill here. This seems to be just little scatterings of Russian infantry everywhere. That just occasionally just makes a push forward. You're like, what the heck are you doing? Go forward in mass. Attack on all fronts. French just disappeared again there. I think these guys are definitely shooting at the retreating French. Nothing else they can be shooting at. All the Rus all the French are nowhere near. Uh, we've got still Russian units hiding in these buildings. I get them out. I think you're just going to need every unit you're going to like possible to take uh, this hill. This is a big hill with a lot of cavalry and a lot of infantry on it. When they uh, eventually reappear, uh, let's just fast forward again. Seems like a little bit of a dull period. A little bit. Yeah, there was a little bit of engagement going on here. Watch, we'll watch this uh, little uh, line battle going on. French doing their bit. This Russian cavalry over there, that, that June unit, just um, like at the far picture, far side of your picture, could probably get involved in this battle. I think it might actually just be about to do that. Yeah, looks like he's, he's going to make a move to come and take out this unit. I'm certainly forcing this unit back. They would have won that fight, I think, there. That unit was ready to break for the Russians. But yeah, they need to quickly shut the door here to Zed Dutrov and just, just shut the door on Devo's chances of escape or survival or anything like that because uh, this Russian army on its own, uh, Tomasov here, cannot take this hill, I don't think. The quality of the uh, French infantry is just too good. But he needs to stop shooting French stragglers. Stop shooting French stragglers, even if they're Swiss. Stop shooting them. Poor Swiss don't deserve that. We've got a... Uh, is that... Okay, we've got a Russian cavalry unit deep in enemy lines. Look at that. Forcing the French to turn around. Now would be the time to push hard with the uh, Russian infantry. 
Cavalry is going to what's going after the caravan is not going to take that out. This Dragoon unit is getting gunned down. Yeah, look at that. Morale is just taking a massive hit. Should, I mean, to take this unit out, you're going to need artillery. They're going to need artillery up here. Speaking of artillery, the artillery is now opening fire for the French. Putting a big old hole into these Russian lines. It's good to see. Look at that. I mean, some of these Russians will get up, but they don't even care. They're just praying they don't get hit by this French artillery. And the French artillery is praying that they're going to break before they get in amongst them. Might need to change the canister. Look at that hole being put into the line. Next next round, please, men. Next round. Give the order. What did it even fire? Did you miss? They're right in front of you, man. But yeah, here's a big flank now from the Russians. This is a huge force coming across. Need to send this lot across as well, and the cavalry. Need to send it across. I mean, they don't want to send too much cavalry, but they can't then take on all the uh, French cavalry here, because it was actually quite a lot. Uh, they might want to just push up. This is tiny infantry units. 38, uh, 50, 40. Yeah, you want to kind of push on these guys, I think. Take them out. Um, certainly need to get these uh, Russian units across the, across the river. Just attack from this flank here. Do a lot more damage. Um, what we've got here, we've got the uh, Caravaneers. They're going to be having to come across again, dealing with uh, the Russian cavalry. Just seems to be endless Russian cavalry at the moment. What have we got here? We've got those uh, uh, Cossacks of some sort. And the Dragoons. More Dragoons. Russian infantry still opening fire. They need, I think they need to just like, the Russians just need to gradually move forward. Do a couple of volleys. And then just get within bayonet charging range and then just uh, charge these guys. So that's the best asset that they have. They're not going to win in a firefight like this against the French, I don't think. They're going to win with their cavalry fights and then they've got to uh, do some bayonet charges, I think. Best way they're going to do it. French are getting some more cavalry. This is reappearing. Cuirassiers, uh, cuirassiers they were both. These are fresh units. 104 men. That's a, that's a troubling sight. What have we got here? We've got more Dragoons. 74. Some chunky units. Some chunky units. At least there is hope for the French, like I said. And I think there's definitely hope for the French if they break all this. This is a real issue. Look at these units starting to lose morale. This French cavalry can't stand here either. Otherwise, it's going to get shot by a... Our men are running for... By French infantry, he says. Got more units breaking. Uh, let's take a building again. Maybe they are just going to go for the points. Maybe they're just going to try and take the points, the uh, the Russians. If they are, then... I mean, that's certainly a play, but they're being very aggressive if they're trying to just take the points. This French human unit is only looking the right way. And it's still not broken. Look at that. That is mad. Turn it around, French man. That's an insult. Where's that Russian artillery? They just need to fixate. Like, this two, these two units here, if they are in range, fixate on this Carabineer unit. Just needs to die. It needs to be off the battlefield. Looks like the Russians are going to fall back. They're going to go back to the uh, river line. Maybe back across the river. Um, interesting play. Interesting play. I think they have lost a lot of men. Whether they could have bayonet charged, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't push with these three units here. Should have pushed across and uh, forced the hand of the uh, of the French player. Looks like the Karassis were about to go for a charge here, but the uh, Dragoons come back across, slowed them down. Got more uh, carry here appearing. This Russian infantry could probably make a push. What's this? More Westerphalian cavalry. Look at this. This cavalry is just insanely fresh. 109 men. These guys look awesome as well. They're pink and silver. Looking very nice. Very nice indeed. Now they're fighting up here. They're going to push up this hill again with the Russians. They need to push at the same time. Like this Russian force should be pushing at the same time as that river force. Because uh, then they could have just... Well, it required more micro for the uh, French player. Because I believe it's only one French player. And they're, these two armies are fighting. And also then it would uh, 
mean that they have nowhere to go. I mean, like, they can't send reserves one side or the other. Like, now the French can send reserves back this way for France to support this fight. Best sort of attack is a synchronized attack. Got Russian carry all the way back there. It's a flipping, uh, like, Cossack cavalry again from Bagregation. Just chilling. Getting shot occasionally by artillery by the looks of it. What we've got here? So we've got some light infantry coming across. Start having some shots fired off over here by the Germans of the uh, French force as well. Some grenadiers here. These guys look cool. Grenadiers of Berg. Let's have a volley, men. Looking very like old guard, I feel, just in white. I'm pretty sure there was an old guy unit that wasn't white. It might be in the Dutch, like, there's like a Dutch regiment, or like a famous Dutch regiment that was in white. That I, I think it was in the old guard, or it was just like a guard unit. I'm not really sure. Like guard deer pulling days or something like that. Grand army here. Grand army. We've got um light infantry from uh Devore's army turning around. Of course every unit's in the Grand Army. Poke fool. These guys look awesome. I say it every time. I just love the green feathers and stuff with the black ha uh, hats. Looks awesome. Good combo. few artillery shots going in, just causing some havoc on these uh, line infantry. And there we go, cavalry charge here by the, uh, but this is the Carabineers. Yep, it is. Carabineers, they're in trouble. They did charge in it. They have broken a lot of this Russian infantry and may bring some, break some more. Oh, look at that. They made a huge hole in the middle and they're going to probably go for the general, aren't they? They've rallied. They've just destroyed this entire front here. How have they done that? The French are... Storming away with this in this flank. We have killed their a general dead, though. That is Devoy is dead. Oh, they went for a nice little general snipe with the uh, with the cavalry of the Cossacks. So very nice. So that will help. I mean, but it doesn't really matter because there's no army left for them to face here. These Karastiers have done the job. I mean, there's a tiny few units over here. They've retaken this building. Or did they ever lose it? I don't even think they ever lost it. These Grenadiers in here. Man, these guys are nasty. Never lost that building. Don't think they ever did. Yeah, these uh, Carabineers are running away. They could just charge onto these uh, artillery here. There's a tiny little unit of sappers there. That's about it. Putting holes into the Carabineer unit just whenever possible now, aren't they? Should have been doing this ages ago. This unit is nasty. It costs so much. Volley! Or fire! Yeah, you can see, t I can see a few units just flying off. Down to 49 men now. Still a very dangerous threat. Very dangerous. And what we got here, we've got the cavalry of the French now engaging the cavalry of the Russians on this flank. Russians definitely losing that fight there. That is really troubling. The French have definitely got the cavalry superiority. Our men are running, sir. Looks like they've got the infantry superiority as well. I mean, these uh, Russians are not able to get this hill. Great volley fire there. So smoky. You can almost smell the musket, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the black powder. The musket fire. You can almost smell it. Some German units here. Conscripted from the German states. They're liberated from the HRE. Only to be brought under the yoke of the uh, Imperial French. The Russians are kind of all, they're a bit all scattered a bit. They're not really, uh, like certainly this, uh, this army here, uh, Dutrov, kind of needs to do something. He either needs to go and help over here, destroy, uh, like Perrin's army, or he needs to go and help destroy Devors. Got to do one or the other, but he's kind of just sat here in the middle, a bit like, um, De Erlon, um, at Qu Quattro Barra and uh, Lingi, kind of just not doing, uh, an attack. Just kind of just sitting there. Russians losing a lot of men getting up this hill. 
Every step is uh, a bit closer to these French muskets and it's uh, a bit more certain of death. I love this French core though. It's a very colourful core. Got some troops in white, some in green, um, some in blue. Looks, they look really cool. I like them. Definitely love to try these guys out. I just have to play more NTW3. To be honest, I don't play enough of it. Here we go. French coming up with a tiny little chasseurs. They're going to try and charge this unit. If they can break this, I'd say this is a good payoff. Um, don't know if they will. Yeah, the, that charge is very low. But here we come at the uh, Westphalian Karassias. This might be able to swamp all of this, though. What we've got here, we've got Otto von Knoring, uh, like a Karassia unit here. They might be able to stop this uh, Westphalian unit, but I don't know. Oh, a nice volley right at the last moment. But it's not going to be enough. Already breaking. The cavalry did actually break that infantry, so, I mean, that's not a bad payoff, I'd say. Yeah, and here we go. Look at this. Oh, this Karasi unit, it's not looking so hot. It's uh, morale's going all the way up and down, all the way up and down. Oh, my gosh. Got line infantry here, sort of forming a square. But they haven't really got that down to a point, really. They've broken the line infantry. Now it's the cavalry. This Dragoon unit might want to come up. These Dragoons can deal with this huge Karasi unit. That's a big win then. The naked counter flank. These Dragoons are solding strong. I think Bracagation's going to win against this uh, Curacy unit here. And there we go. The cavalry's gone. It's twi that, was like, that was 100 plus men when that went into combat. It's now another 29. Insane. They're doing the same on this side. Now the uh, French being aggressive on this flank with their Curacias. Trying to get through this uh, line infantry unit here. It's form square though. Should be okay. Uh, setting up some uh, guards. Some of the uh, guards of the Hessians. They're going in. Breaking through the square. And that might do the damage to the uh, Russian infantry. Who knows? The Russians just need to be aggressive with their cavalry now. And they just need to go into the backs of loads of this uh, this infantry here. It could break a lot of it. Kill these grenadiers. They're going to cause a lot of issues. There we go. In they go. Going after some Hessian line infantry. And then into the uh, Grenadiers. Could be in trouble here. Could be in trouble. And they, oh, but then it's so good. The Russians look at this. A huge flank here by the Russian, uh, by the French cavalry and infantry. And this is like 200 Karasias. This is a scary sight if I've seen any. They're gonna try and stop it with their uh, Russian Karasias. Need to send in this unit. This dragoon unit's got to go. It's got to go. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Uh, where's Devor? That's a point. Uh, he's still chasing down what remains of this army here. Interesting. He might need to set... He's got a few units over here by the river crossing as well. Interesting. I don't know whether, whether he's got the strength to come and support this fight. Well, it's breaking there. We've got some uh, lion which is breaking. Jurassic is breaking. Oh, it's a huge break here. What's left? It's just some guard infantry of uh, the Hessians holding. And now this ro this uh, French force is looking in real trouble. We've got Perrin up here, standing on the very uh, very highest point of this uh, hill. He's looking very, very scared. And yeah, they can flank around hard on both sides, really. Folly, man. For Hess. And for the Emperor. Oh, it's a ferocious volley fire. Oh, the French have got some carry back here. Got some hussars up right. Just right some dragoons. That's, that could be useful. Whether they can break this one. They could break this Russian one as well. Hmm, it could be... Might not be over yet. I mean, actually, I say that this curiosity unit is huge. Huge for this stage of the battlefield, any of uh, this part of the battle, anyway. They just need to charge, just charge. It's a brutal one.
They're being merciful, that carry. Wow, that's a surprise. But anyway, if you got to this point in the battle, uh, well done to you guys. It's been a really, really fun one. Uh, it looks like the Russians are going to win. I don't think Devo's got the power or the strength to stop um, what is left of this army here of Bagregation and uh, Anducharov. Um, but I could be wrong. I've seen weirder things. Here we go. We've got this uh, Hussar unit. He's going to charge into the Karasias. Don't think that's going to end well for the Hussars, but who knows? Don't think I don't see 29 men routing over 50, but uh, they could be 29 brave men. Scary. I don't, actually, no one out scares the Russians. No one out scares the Russians. Here comes some more dragoons. Yeah, that's routing. There you go. Looks like uh, looks like Perrin's gone off the top of the hill. He's basically basically out of uh, men, and I'm just going to fast forward. Again, just to, just for the uh, replays, sake of the replays. The of All we're watching is a few little a uh, volleys going off here. I mean, they're actually going back to back. That's how dire it's getting here. And in goes the cavalry. They're routing basically on impact. And I think Garrus has come down to Devor over here. And I mean, the French are actually routing. The French are routing. This tiny unit here of like Tomasov's troops are uh, holding back what is left of the cavalry here. What happened to the carabineers? I actually didn't pay attention. That's a shame. Ah, should have paid attention to what's happening to the Carabineers. Maybe they're still alive. There's always hope. That Grenadier unit that's been stuck in that building all day is now finally coming out as well. Come to deal with what's left. Got a French unit. Oh, there we go. General dead. I think that's Perrin dead. Um, we've now got a... Uh, look at this. A line of light charging the guns. They actually might... The guns might break. So might the infantry. So might the infantry. Oh, no. The guns will definitely go. There you go. They're in trouble. They're gone. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of now... I think it's just a few tiny units of uh, devoids. I've got some just artillery and other stuff. So I'm just going to fast forward. Probably actually maybe just make a cut. And uh, just so you can see the end results. Because it's kind of, that is kind of the end of the battle. So I'll see you guys in a moment with the end results. So there we go. They have the end results there uh, to look at. So this was sent in by uh, Crisp Gaming. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, Dutrov. Um, symbol there. So, um, yeah, thank you for sending this in. It's a really, really fun one to watch. I really enjoyed it. Good to see, like, a Russian and French uh, standoff, really. And you can see, um, like, all the kills and stuff there. I mean, Wasteman getting the most kills, 119, uh, 1900, nearly 2,000 kills, actually. Um, and Ruck here kind of got outgunned. He was, um, he was Tuch uh, Tuchkov, I think. Uh, only got 300 kills. Um, Really, really unf uh, unfortunate. But yeah, some huge armies. I mean, Marshal uh, Jean Lands here with a very small army, actually. Only 900 men. Um, which And this one only has like 1,200. But I mean, it was a really close battle. I mean, um, could have gone either way at points, I felt. I think the French, even though they like lost and got overwhelmed in some areas, they seem to be able to just pull it back and um, nearly beat these Russian armies. So yeah, we'll just have a quick look at some of the, uh, the unit stats. So... Uh, here we go. So the best kills, I mean, there's the goons up here. They've got some really good kills. 220, 179, 170 for that line infantry. 147 for another line infantry. Sappers getting 137. Uh, yeah, doing really, really well. Um, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is uh, Dutrov's army. Did very well. Got some good kills. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. If you want to see more NCW3, let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord as well. And until next time, Legionnaires.